Hi, it's Will from StormTheCastle.com, and here on YouTube, you know me as Epic Fantasy, and this is my latest tutorial. This is part due two of installing bees in a hive, and this week we check on the bees. If you remember last week, we got a message that the bees were ready to be picked up, so I got that package, that wooden case there, which comes with three pounds of bees and a queen locked inside a little cage. That's the little cage there, and she's locked inside by that white stuff, which is candy. See, the queen has got the white dot on her back. But we don't want to release her from that cage. We want to let the bees do it themselves. We just pull the cork out, exposing the candy. So now the bees can eat it all away and free her. But what we did was we put that cage um, inside the hive. And then we added the bees by pouring them. That's thousands of bees. And that was pretty much it for that installation day. So three days later, we checked on the hive. Well, right here, you can see that within a couple of hours, any bees left in that package moved over to the hive. That's a good sign. Three days later, we're going to check on that and see what's happened. Dioramas, origami, catapults, and treasure chains, telescopes, terrariums, bonsai trees, and paper games, swords and shields, and real blocks, fifteen model boxes, animation. I teach you how to build creation. StormyCastle.com. Let's make something. Okay, so things are looking pretty good. I got a good feeling the hive is giving off a good vibe. That's not a pun. I don't mean that as a pun. It's, you can just feel a good vibration coming out of this hive. The bees are merrily going in and out and doing their thing. They seem to be um, getting acclimated to their new home. Good positive feeling. So, let's take a look, open it up and take a look. And see this top empty rack here? We're going to fill that. But let's check a look at that queen cage to see what's happened. And the bees, see, they're pretty happy. They're not angry. And that's just a, a good sign. They're very busy. They're starting up their, their little colony. Starting to get themselves organized. But we want to look at that cage to see if they've released her by eating the candy. That's the big thing. Now in this, this whole, so in this whole bottom rack here with all these black frames in it, she's going to lay a lot of eggs in all of those and uh, that's where the new bee is going to come from. But look, the cage has been opened, they ate away the candy, and they have released the queen into the hive. See, there's some junk in there, a little bit of candy left, but we're good, no queen. Yay! So that's a good sign. So she's busy. They're all busy. So a couple of things we're going to do here is we're going to slip that bottom board over. We're going to flip it over because it changes the gap underneath the hive. And what we want is a nice thin gap all the way across the, the width of the hive. I'll show you. That does a couple of things. That will help them maintain the temperature of the hive. Um, and by controlling that gap, it also keeps mice out and it will minimize parasites getting in there. So you watch this right there, that's thin gap all underneath from left to right is how the bees will get in and out of the hive. So now that top empty box will no longer be empty. We fill this with frames and they are going to fill all of these frames with honey. Yep, that's gonna be a lot of honey. So we put that on top, put our telescoping cover on top, and close off the hive. And see how the bees are not very aggressive, they're doing really well. You know, that's a big thing when it comes to bees. Different families and strains of bees, are um, some are aggressive and some are very docile. And we're going to add a feeder just to get them off to a kickstart. This is um, sugar water, and this will kind of get them going real quick so they have lots of uh, food available to them. But we won't do this for long because they will get lazy. We don't want them to get lazy. We want to go out and forage. So that's it. The queen's been released. The hive looks good and feels good. Um, they've been fed. We've added empty frames so they can make their honey. And there we go. That was a, that's a few days later. I will keep you updated on this hive as the summer goes along. Thanks for watching that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you're a subscriber, 
Thanks for subscribing to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, hit that button. I always have lots of fun and interesting and very creative projects. I do two new ones every week. As an example, here's a couple more videos you might want to watch.